everyone, my name is Travis. I'm going to be showing you how to make a cocktail today. It's going to be called the Royal Dram. It's a cocktail featuring Bunahaven 12 Year, which is a uh, Isla single malt from the northern tip of Isla. It's kind of nice because it's got a gentle taste of Isla, so there's no peat on the barley whatsoever, but you will see a little bit of peat uh, coming through from the water source. It's more of like a uh, dried fruit characteristic with a little bit of uh, oak and sherry on there as well. Really, really nice single malt from Isla again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take two ounces of the Bunahaven 12 beer and I'm just going to jerry this in and uh, pour it straight into my mixing glass filled with ice. Right there. Perfect. So we got the two ounces of that. Then I'm going to follow it up with an ounce of Herring's cherry liqueur which is more of like a pitted cherry flavor, not so heavy on the you know, fresh fruit style, but more of like a dried stewed fruit. And lastly, I'm going to add one ounce of the King's Ginger liqueur. I'm just going to add a nice little component. Perfect. And then I'm going to follow that up with three or four dashes of Angostura bitters. And now I'm just going to stir it for about 30 to 40 seconds, just so I can dilute the cocktail here and uh, make a really nice martini. So what you want to do here, the, the key thing is you want to keep the uh, pipe glass steady, hold it at the bottom, that way you're not warming up the liquid while you're stirring, because the whole point of this is to dilute it and chill it down. And what I have here is a nice chilled martini glass to keep the uh, cocktail cold when I do decide to pour it in. So this is kind of just a, you know, helping dilute the cocktail, bringing out some of the more flavors. Water is an essential ingredient in cocktails. Otherwise, it'd be too, in some cases, too harsh and not as palatable. So what I'm doing is I'm just giving this a good stir, mixing up all the ingredients here. And I typically like to uh, stir my cocktails or martinis when every ingredient in the cocktail is all spirits. So if I were to have some fresh fruit or, you know, uh, maybe a puree or something along that, I would go ahead and shake it down. That way it just gives it a different mouthfeel. With this, it's going to be nice and silky on the palate. Just really, really nice. Alright, that should be good there. So now I'm going to take my julep strainer here and just going to strain this right into the chilled cocktail glass. Got a beautiful color out of that. Perfect. And I went ahead and uh, made a fresh zest. And I'm going to squeeze the oils just so the oils dissipate and and spread right over the cocktail, and then I'm going to go ahead and spread it and drop it in. So this is the Royal Dram. 